Hi everyone, welcome back to another of my Elite Dangerous adventure. In this video, I learned how to unlock my very first engineer, Felicity Farseer, with the help of Commander Rywin, and I also visited his spaceship carrier, and this is my very first time visiting a player's carrier, which I did not know it exists in Elite Dangerous. Also, because my family was sleeping while I was recording this video, so I couldn't do commentary while I was playing. So I will be doing a voiceover for this video. Let's go! To unlock Engineer Felicity, you need Exploration Rank as Scott. So I scan a whole bunch of star systems and come back and sold my scan data and ranked up. But you also need the Metal Alloy, which I have no idea how to get. But luckily, Commander Rewin said he will sell one to me, but I need to go to his carrier. And when I heard the name carrier, I was wondering what carrier is. And is that a player's carrier? Can you buy that in game? I have no idea. So here I am. And I learned that some players can own their own carriers in Elite Dangerous and do tradings and other things. That is awesome. So here is my first tour of a player's carrier. And look at that. It's so huge and so pretty. The purple neon light matches the thruster color of my ship. Looks like Commander Rewin and I share some similar taste about color. The first thing after I docked with his station is to check his About Us page, which is the carrier overview. And you can see the whole carrier is parked in orbit and the ships flying by in real time. This is awesome. And under summary, I can see all the services that his carrier offers. I think to both players and NPCs, right? I'm not exactly certain. But he's gonna make money, right? People have to come here. If not, a lot of player come here. NPC has to come here to give him the profit. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So, so many services and carrier security reading, Federation welcome, docking access is all notorious commander access allowed. So, you, if you got a crime stat, you can still park here to do your business. Service tariffs. Okay. So, a little extra for the owner of the carrier. Yeah, he's gonna make money. So many services, this is so convenient. The Milky Way is so vast. If players put these carriers all over the place in different star systems, it will be very convenient for players, especially new players like me, to look for refueling places, to buy things from players. So this is actually player to player trading gameplay, a lot of that. This is wonderful. I know it must be pretty expensive to buy this thing. I'm not exactly sure how much and where to get this thing and how to set it up. Well, eventually I will, but probably gonna take a while. All right, it's time to disembark to take a quick tour of his beautiful carrier. Raven's Loft, Hangar 11. Beautiful name. This carrier does look like a capital, a military capital carrier because look at the command deck and uh, we go in, it's, it's pretty big, that's huge and you have a pilot's lounge, this is actually a bar, I'm really surprised that we have a bar here and it's, it's very lively, you can see all those NPCs, a lot of people sitting here, very lively and those NPCs are actually sitting on the chairs or standing by the table, not standing on the table or standing on the chairs, if you know what I'm talking about. And here, this lady, the bartender, is where I got the metal alloy from the owner of the carrier. And I really, really appreciate Mr. Raven for helping Feel me to get to it, because I have no idea how to get it on my own. But I do intend to find out and get it on my own as well, because I want to know how to get it by myself. But for now, this is very helpful. So thank you so much. Please do feel free to waste my time. Yeah, please do feel free to waste my time. I love the NPC conversations in Elite Dangerous. There's so much content just by talking or listening to them. Mr. Dynamics, can I help you? You're here to help us further our research, I assume. Please do return when you have some organic data to share. Yeah, I don't have anything, but you can sell organic data here. So that's great. And you have a fighter bay. I'm not sure you can launch this fighter or not, or it's just decoration. But you can buy our ship from here. It's just awesome. 
And guess what else I found? An escape pod. <laughs> Using this escape pod takes you to your last visit safe location, removes all unregistered organic data, leaves your active ship at its current location. And I dare not to touch the stove this time. <laughs> so leave it. But one day I will try it. Also, I found this observation deck. This is cool. I'm going to sit here enjoying the view a little bit. This is so beautiful. Imagine the capital ship parked in orbit and you can just watch the planet beneath you. How beautiful is that? There's so many chairs here and there are also NPC working. These details make this game so much alive. Look at that view. That's just beautiful. Yeah, this game has so much scale and depth. Every day I'm discovering new things. Also, I discovered all the characters in the Elite Dangerous are so skinny. I wonder what kind of space food they eat. Alright. In the market for a new weapon. Weapon store? So, what are you after today? None of these guns will let you down. None of these guns will let you down, yeah. But you can also buy weapons and armors on players. Carriers, that's really nice. I purchased a few nice. weapons the that I don't have, and then I put some really nice skins on it. Because if you put really nice skins for the weapon, the DPS will dramatically increase without doing any engineering. It is an unproven fact, because I have not used any of these weapons except the training. <laughs> Alright, at this point, I plan to log out for the night, but uh, I was worried. If uh, my ship got destroyed or something happened, will I lose the material? So I decided I'm just going to fly straight to the engineer to deliver this material to have it unlocked before I log off. So I'm on my way. Three, two, one, Wow, that's a lot of jumps, but this is Elite Dangerous, not Star Trek or Stargate, so there is no teleportation, no beat me up, Scotty, so we have to do the legwork. So her workshop, which is called Farseer Inc., is located on a planet in the Decian system. After I arrived here, so first thing of course, I am donating the one metal alloy to her. And then after that, her services are unlocked to me. And then I find out there are a lot more details to this. So her services offers modification for your engines, for your FSD, for your power plants and sensors. And each of them has more detailed modifications. For example, for the FSD, you can modify your FSD boost sequence. You can get the increased FSD range. You can also get the shielded FSD. But for each of these subcategories, you also have have different levels, some up to level 5, and for each level, you have to provide different materials, which I do not have any of these. <laughs> so this is not an easy game, this is not a short term game, that's the amazing part of Elite Dangerous. It is to the grind, you have to grind it, you have to find it, you have to do all these legwork in order to get what you want in this game. So it's not for everyone, but uh, for those who love this, it is really, really enjoyable. You also have the modification for your thrusters. Dirty drive tuning, drive strengthening, clean drive tuning. Wow, this is just a lot <laughs> to learn. Well, I have made the very first step thanks to Captain Rewin. Actually, at the time that I published this video, Commander Captain Kamaru and his friends spent a couple hours helped me to unlock two more engineers and also provided me with a lot of materials which I do not know exactly what for but uh, I'm really really grateful for every one of you and also for every one of you that left comments under my video that giving me so many tips and suggestions in detail, in length, in depth and length which will take me some time 
to read and my reply might be delayed, but I am reading every single comment, every single tip and every single suggestion. When I first started to make this series of videos, I did not expect this. The game is great, but the community for this game is even greater. So thank you everyone so much. And this is it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed my adventure. Thanks for watching, and thank you everyone for your comments. I will see you guys in the next one. Follow your heart, Commander.